Chapter 6, Lesson 2, Numerical Expression. A numerical expression uses only numbers and operations, no equal sign. Here are some examples of numerical expressions. You evaluate a numerical expression by finding its value. To find its value, you must follow the order of operations. The order of operations tells us that first, we have to simplify anything that's in parentheses. Then, we want to simplify any exponents. Next, we would do any multiplication or division, whichever comes first from left to right. So you don't have to multiply before divide, you do whichever one comes first. Then, we add or subtract, also, whichever one comes first from left to right. We can remember this by remembering PEMDAS or Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Example 1. Let's evaluate the expression by following order of operations, or PEMDAS. So I put multiplication and division next to each other, and addition and subtraction next to each other, so we can remember that we do whichever one comes first from left to right. So first we need to do parentheses. So first we need to do 13 minus 4, which gives us 9. Now we can bring everything else down. 72 divided by 9 plus 5 times 2 to the third. So because we finished parentheses, now we can go on to exponents. 2 to the third is the same as 2 being multiplied by itself 3 times. 2 times 2 gives us 4. 4 times 2 more gives us 8. Now we can bring everything else down. 72 divided by 9 plus 5 times 8. Now we can do any multiplication or division, whichever one comes first from left to right. So first we have 72 divided by 9, which gives us 8. Now we can bring everything down. So we're still not done with our multiplication and division. So first we should multiply 5 times 8, which gives us 40. Now that we've done all multiplication and division, now we can add or subtract. This gives us 48. Example 2. Evaluate the expression. Let's use PEMDAS, order of operations, to evaluate this expression. So we don't have any parentheses in this expression, so we can start with exponents. Our only exponent is 6 squared, which is 6 times 6. This gives us 36. Now we can bring everything else down. 3 times 36 plus 4. Now we can do multiplication or division. So next we have to do 36 times 3. 6 times 3 gives us 18. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 more is 10. So this equals 108. Now we can bring everything else down. So we have no more multiplication or division, so now we can do addition or subtraction. This gives us 112. Example 3. Again, to evaluate, we always need to use order of operations. So first we need to do what's inside the parentheses. 19 minus 6 gives us 13. Now we can bring everything else down. 20 divided by 4 plus 17 times 13. We have no exponents in this expression, so we could go on to multiplication or division. So next we need to do 20 divided by 4, which gives us 5 bring everything else down. We still have multiplication, so we need to do 17 times 13. 7 times 3 gives us 21. 3 times 1 plus 2 more gives us 5. 7 times 1 is 7, and 1 times 1 is 1. This gives us 221. We can bring everything else down. Now that we did all multiplication or division, now we can add or subtract. 221 plus 5 gives us a value of 226. Example 4, evaluate. So let's use order of operations. So first we need to do what's inside the parentheses, and because there's multiple operations inside the parentheses, we need to follow order of operations in there as well. So first we need to do exponents. 8 squared is 8 times 8, which gives us 64. Bring everything else down. We still bring down our parentheses because we still haven't completely simplified. So 64 minus 2 is 62. 
Now that we've completely simplified the parentheses, we don't need to bring them down anymore. We don't have any exponents, so next we need to do multiplication or division. So 62 times 2, which gives us 124. So now that we've finished multiplication and division, we can add 5 plus 124 gives us 129. Try these yourself to check for understanding. Example 5. Write an expression for the total cost of 5 lotions, 2 candles, and 4 lip balms. Then find the total cost. So we can use the table to help us write an expression to find the total cost. So if we're getting 5 lotions, the table tells us that lotions cost $5 each. So if we're getting 5 lotions, we would multiply that by 5 to find the cost of the lotions. Plus, we're getting 2 candles that cost seven dollars each. So two times seven plus four lip balms that cost two dollars each. So four times two. This would be the expression that we would use to find the total cost. Now we can simplify using order of operations. Order of operations tells us that we must do any multiplication or division before doing any addition or subtraction. So first let's simplify all of our multiplication. 5 times 5 gives us 25, 2 times 7 gives us 14, 4 times 2 gives us 8. Now we can add 25 plus 14 gives us 39, 39 plus 8 gives us a total cost of $47. Try this one yourself to check for understanding.